Greetings folks, this is the full scale Sky Hunter 1.8 meter wingspan FPV cruiser from Banggood. This is the kit version, uh, so Banggood also sent me uh, a motor, this is a Sunny Sky 28-2800 kV motor, very nice indeed. Uh, three servos, uh, Emacs ES08MA, uh, 11 gram metal gear servos. Skywalker 60 amp ESC and 14 by 8 inch folding props. I don't have a spinner, I still have to buy myself a spinner or make one up or something like that. Anyway, let's open it up, have a look at it and assemble it. How's it packed? It's in bubble wrap in a pretty sturdy uh, cardboard box. We get a one page pamphlet Exploded diagram, that's pretty cool. Uh, another diagram that shows us the center of gravity. That's probably all we need. Lots of tubes and spars, carbon fiber strips and rods. Monstrous fuselage. Gosh, this is going to be a big plane. Here's the hatch, looks like it's uh, oh, I like the micro Sky Hunter, it has that sort of two-stage hatch. Take that off if you want to mount FPV gear on there. We have a mounting platform here. I have no idea what that is. And a bag of hardware here, all the connection brackets, nuts and bolts. And some sticky back Velcro there. Gosh, look at the size of that fuselage. Here we have the horizontal and vertical stab. Decent size horizontal stab. Hinges are pretty stiff. Ooh, the elevator is so flexible and thin. Whew, that's a worry. I just feel like I need to strengthen that up straight away. Vertical stab is very slim. No provision for rudder in the vertical stab, I see. And a monstrous wing. Spar channel there. That's where the boom glues in. Ailerons are not cut out yet. And the hinges look so thin I can see through them. I'm guessing I'm going to have to form my own hinges with this one. Seems to be the way these days, but that's okay as long as you're aware of it. Time to start building. And we have a few design, design decisions to make. Fuselage. Two halves get glued together. Uh, there is a sort of a gear platform there. I can actually slide that in afterwards. There seems to be two positions for it. One permanently positioned there and one sort of slide in position there. So I'm going to leave that out for the moment. I can deal with that later on. There's a spot down here for a carbon rod. I don't know if that's a really smart idea. That doesn't do a lot really. Uh, the weak point is going to be the join. It's not really going to stop the join from coming apart or give a lot of strength and that just that's a quite a heavy rod I don't think I'll, I'll pop that in. I would much rather have uh, a piece of plywood stuck stuck to the bottom all the way along there that'll give more strength and more uh, mounting options I think so I'm going to leave that out. There are some mounting plates for the wing that get glued in underneath. Sort of have to glue them in at the same time that you're putting the fuselage together, I think. Looks like there's provision for a window to be cut out there, but um, I'll leave that as it is to start off with. So that's the fuselage. There's the motor mount. The motor mount gets glued onto there. And then I've got this uh, Sunny Sky 2820 800kV motor with a spinner and the lovely big folding prop will go on there. Have these spars that are glued into the wing there and we have a joining spar with a little aluminium collar in the middle that slides into that spar there so I can just glue them straight in with the cover. The tail booms, we get these plastic brackets here, get that right so that gets glued in like that. There's only one way it can go in so you can't really make mistakes. And then the foam cover gets glued on top of that. Have hard points little plastic cup things that will get glued into the wing there so that the bolts don't squash 
down through the wing foam. Uh, there's slots for carbon strips, collecting the carbon strips there. One on the top, two on the bottom. And there's channels for the servos which go in there. So I'll get to gluing all of those in. These are the tail booms here. Horizontal stabiliser. There's also another spot for a spar to go in there. Another strip, so I'll glue that in. Alright, I'll get on with that. I won't show you the whole build. There are some fantastic build series for this plane on YouTube and I'll put some links into the description for you. So if you want to see it in more detail, you can go and have a look at these. There's um, some really, really thorough builds. First thing I'm doing is sandpapering up all the gluing surfaces, especially these plastic ones because they're quite smooth and slippery, just to get a good grip and um, anything that's going to get glued together will get sanded up. Now, just look at these control horns. I love a good control horn and these are the best I have seen. Big, solid, nice wide base. Well done. I love it. So I freed up the ailerons just by slicing down there and those hinges are not too bad actually. I'm not too worried about them but I will put some blend boom uh, on the top and bottom I think. At least the bottom surface there. But I think they'll work quite well. The build is progressing very well. This is such a big plane, I have to get right back to get it all in the frame. Pretty easy to put together. Just gluing these sort of strengthening strips in there, control horns on there, gluing these little brackets into the wing. Pretty easy job, there's only one way they can go in, so you can't make too much of a stuff up of that. Brackets down the back as well, and you just glue the horizontal and vertical stabilizers on there. Glue the motor mount on and I've screwed the enormous prop and spinner motor. That's going to fit okay. That's going to cruise along beautifully. And so far it's balancing pretty well with two 3004 S's in the nose. So that's looking good. Just have to put in the servos and receiver and give it a run up. So there we are, it's all finished. Uh, you can probably hear the rainstorm going on at the moment, so I won't be maidening it straight away. All up weight balanced with 6,000 milliamp hours worth of 4S battery was right on 2 kilograms. That's a good weight, I should be able to hand launch that okay. So there we go, the full size Sky Hunter 1800mm wingspan from Banggood. Purchase links in the description. Maiden as soon as the weather calms down. Thanks for watching.